Well, hello again. It is Monday. Welcome back to another installment of Mr. Eric Reads. We are sticking with this green book of classics from Dr. Seuss and some stories that I've never even heard, like tonight's story and like yesterday's story, Gertrude McFuzz. That was the first time I'd ever heard that one. And tonight's book is no different. It's called The Big Brag. And I, like maybe you out there, have never ever heard of this book before. So I'm very excited to find out what happens with it because I thoroughly enjoyed Gertrude McFuzz. If you didn't get a chance to check that out, boop, boop, it'll be down below. But without further ado, let's find out more about this big brag here on Mr. Eric Reads. The rabbit felt mighty important that day on top of the hill in the sun where he lay. He felt so important up there on that hill, he started in bragging as animals will. And he boasted out loud as he threw out his chest, of all the beasts in the world, I'm the best. So on the land and on the sea, even up in the sky, no animal lives who is better than I. What's that? Growled a voice of terribly gruff. Now, why do you say such ridiculous stuff? The rabbit looked down and he saw a big bear. I'm the best of the beast, said the bear. And so there. No, you're not snapped the rabbit. I'm better than you. Poo, said the bear. Again, I say poo. You talk mighty big, Mr. Rabbit, that's true. But how can you prove it? Just what can you do? Hmm, thought the rabbit. Now, uh, what can I do? He thought, and he thought, and then he finally said, Mr. Bear, do you see these two ears on my head? My ears are so keen and so sharp and so fine, no ears in the world can hear farther than mine. Humph, the bear grunted. He looked at each ear. You say they are good, said the bear with a sneer. But how do I know just how far they can hear? How prove? said the rabbit. My ears are the best. You sit there and watch me. I'll prove it by test. Then he stiffened his ears till they both stood up high and he pointed straight up to the blue of the sky. He stretched his ears open as wide as they could. Shh, I'm listening, he said as he stood. He listened so hard that he started to sweat and the fur on his ears and his forehead got wet. For seven long minutes he stood, then he stirred, and he said to the bear, Do you know what I heard? Do you see that far mountain? It's 90 miles off. There's a fly on that mountain. I just heard him cough. Now, the cough of a fly, sir, is quite hard to hear when he's 90 miles off, but I hear it quite clear. So you see, bragged the rabbit, it's perfectly true that my ears are the best, so I'm better than you. The bear thought for a moment. He sulked as he sat, for he knew that his ears couldn't hear things like that. This rabbit, he thought, made a fool out of me. And I've got to prove that I'm better than he. So he said to the rabbit, you hear pretty well. You can hear 90 miles, but how far can you smell? I'm the greatest of smellers, he bragged. See my nose? This nose on my face is the finest that grows. My nose can smell anything both far and near. With my nose I can smell twice as far as you hear. You can't, snapped the rabbit. I can, growled the bear, and he stuck his big nose way up high in the air. He wiggled that nose and he sipped. And he snuffed, and he waggled that nose, and he whipped, and he woofed. 
For 10 minutes more, he snapped and he snuffed and he said to the rabbit, I've smelled for enough. All right, said the rabbit. Come on and tell exactly how far is that smell that you smell. Oh, I'm smelling a very far smell, said the bear. Away past that fly on the mountain out there. I'm smelling past many great mountains beyond. 600 miles more to the edge of a pond. And way, way out there by the pond you can't see. There's a very small farm, and on the farm is a tree, and on the tree is a branch, and on the branch is a nest, a very small nest, where two tiny eggs rest. Two hummingbirds, only a half inch long. But my nose, said the bear, is so wonderfully strong. My nose is so good that I smelled without fail. That egg on the left is a little bit stale. And that is a thing that no rabbit can do, you see. The bear boasted, I am better than you. My smell is so keen, it just can't be beat. What's that? Called a voice from way down by his feet. The bear and the rabbit looked down at the sound, and they saw an old worm crawling out of the ground. Now, boys, said the worm, you've been bragging a lot. You both think you're great, but I think you are not. You're not half as good as a fellow like me. You hear and you smell, but how far can you see? Now, I'm here to prove to you big boasted guys that your nose and your ears aren't as good as my eyes. And the little old worm cocked his head to one side, and he opened his eyes, and he opened them wide, and he looked far away with a strange sort of stare, as if they were burning two holes in the air. The eyes of the worm almost popped out of his head, and he stared half an hour till his eyelids got red. That's enough, growled the bear. Tell the rabbit and me, how far did you look, and just what did you see? Well, boys, the worm answered, the look that I took was a look that looked farther than you'll ever look. I look across the ocean, way out to Japan, for I can see farther than anyone can. There's no one on earth whose eyesight's finer. I looked past Japan and I looked across China. I looked across Egypt and took a quick glance across the two countries of Holland and France. Then I looked across England and also Brazil, but it didn't stop there. I looked much farther still. And I kept right on looking and looking until I looked around the world and right back to this hill. And I saw on this hill, since my eyesight's so keen, two of the biggest fools that I have ever seen. And the fools that I saw were none other than you, who seem to have nothing better else to do than sit here and who is arguing about who is better than who. And then the little worm gave his head a small jerk and he dived in his hole. And he went back to work. The end. That was The Big Brad, Bragg, Bragg, not duh. The Big Brag by Dr. Seuss. Here on Mr. Eric Reads on a beautiful Monday. What more of that story? You got two people over here just arguing about how good they are, how much better they are, how much better they are. 
And the warden just comes up and says, hey, you both have talents. Why are you bothering wasting time arguing who's better than who? If only we acted like that. That's your challenge. Continue to treat everybody with kindness. Continue to accept that some people have cool talents that you don't have. And that somebody looks at you and goes, wow, that person has some talents I wish I had. You have worth. You are special. You are valuable. Please come back again tomorrow. Until that time, wash your hands, take care of each other, and be kind to everybody you come in contact with. I'll see you guys around.